What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of Team of the Season, Robbie Van Persie, episode 16. Uh, I do apologize if, you know, this has been a while, uh, but guys, if you're looking to buy or sell any FIFA 13 Ultimate Team cards, check the link in the description. Uh, there's a discount code for going at the moment for 10% off, and uh, you can get your coins for £9 if you want to go and uh, get that for per 100k. So if you want to go do that, check the link in the description. And now let's get straight on to the episode. And of course, we are buying a few players. The first goalkeeper that we bought is going to be Czech for, I think, five or 6,000 coins, and then we do buy a Fellaini and now the team is looking very very um it's you know it's getting close to the end now this series is I can imagine there's about probably about four to five episodes left of this series if I can complete you know get the gold tournament cup in one go um I can see there's being like four or five more episodes to go and um, but anyway we're gonna go straight into a game with our new uh, you know like with like our epic BPL team very sweaty very awesome team um, and we do get matched up against a 4-5-1 Liga BBVA team and look at that a long shot there from Ramirez it's such a shame that that didn't going because that probably would have been goal of this series because that was freaking epic and it does you know it just smashed off the crossbar and now look at you know look at how unlucky I'm getting I'm um, hitting the crossbar there with Kone and then the Kone uh, I think he gets a rebound then and just not able to finish it and then even a tramp goal won't go in this guy's goalkeeper I think it was Valdez because he was just so on form and I just couldn't do anything and it comes down to the 88th minute to eventually come down and break this guy and we beat the guy 1-0 in 89th minute in you know this guy must have been raging so hard because his goalkeeper was saving him all this game and uh, you know it takes until two minutes until the uh, full time and I do actually score and make it 1-0 and we do get three points and we do get the win fantastic win there but you know I'll show you the stats in a second and it, I just completely dominated dominated this guy um, but his goalkeeper was just keeping him and it's so so much and I'm, sh I'm just about to show you the uh, the match details now and as you can see 14 shots on target to his six it, I didn't even you know I didn't even know he had six shots on target like I said I don't play possession much I just like to get the goal in the back of the net I don't really play too much you know tickle tackle football I don't you know one two pass etc I just go through ball over the top and I look for the goal and uh, that's why his possession or the you know, the, op the opponent's possession is pretty much always better than mine. Um, but anyway, you know, we won that game 1-0. Um, and now we need one point. We need one more point. So a draw or a win. And we will win Division 1 title. And that is just going to give us so many coins. So we're going to go buy, buy a right back. And it is going to be Walker from Spurs. And now the team is looking very, very complete. Uh, we need two more players to sort of, uh, you know, finish the, the, the non-rares. And get straight into the goal rare BPL teams. Um, but then after that, I'm not too sure what I want to do. Obviously... The team is coming along nicely, but the team is almost complete. So, um, you know, just leave any comments on what players you would like me to get in the next episode. Keep it in reason. You know, I'm not going to buy informs or out in this series. I kind of just want this series over in the next week or so. Um, but anyway, you know, we're, we're in the next game. Four triple two BPL. Uh, sorry, not BPL. Serie A team, and it is a fantastic team. Looking at that, like three informs or four informs. Some really nice, um, really nice players in there. Balotelli, Chiellini. But then we do actually make it go one nil up with uh, Robbie Van Persie, little chip there. And then look at this cheeky little skill run here that I. Do a trap. I thought this was quite nice. I was pretty much just mashing the skill button, um, but it did work. And it, you know, it turns out I do actually make it 2 0 up in the 30th minute with Tarapt getting a cheeky little goal there, taking on about three of his players. And then we get a nice through ball over the top. You have a Kone, nice little chest, and then just completely doing with the big touch. I go for the long shot and unfortunately the keeper saves it onto the post and that is how it stays for the moment. 2-0, we cross it into Fellaini and then we get some weird ass bounces here. Drops down to Kone, drops down to Fellaini, his goalkeeper saves it, then Kone gets it, then it drops down to Robbie Van Persie and Robbie Van Persie in the 50th minute getting some nice aid goal there. That was complete luck and uh, you know I kind of felt bad for him after scoring that but whatever, two minutes later we do actually extend the lead even more and Robbie Van Persie makes it 4-0 with his left foot, smashing that into the bottom right hand corner past the goalkeeper Marchetti doing not too much in this uh, game to be honest uh, but we're beating this guy 4-0 and unfortunately he does get pretty much a consolation goal with Mikkeli in the 58th minute I'm not even sure how Mikkeli wins that header because you know he's like a, he's a pretty much a midget he's like 5 foot 5 or 5 foot 6 tall maybe even a little bit taller or maybe even, even smaller I'm not too sure of his height um, but he shouldn't be winning that header against Mbia or um, Kabul so that's pretty much just FIFA you know give him a consolation goal but then 76 minutes in uh, you know 20 minutes after he's got his consolation goal he does get another one but that is how it ends and uh, we do actually beat the guy 4-2 very very easy win very comfortable Roy Van Persie getting two or three in that game um, he's just absolutely on fire and there we go we do actually win uh, the uh, division one title so we get some nice little coin bonus and we get a free pack to open so that's quite cool and of course look at our record in this uh, division seven wins two losses uh, sorry no two draws and one loss and uh, yeah it's just, I, I thought that was a pretty cool record for division one and uh, now we're going to open our 
battle pack, see who we can get. Um, you know, obviously it's me, so who we're gonna get? We're gonna get Hugo Viana, some Portuguese Randy centre mid, 63 pace. Um, I think I've heard of him before, and actually do think he's got an inform, but you know, of course, we're never gonna get anything good out of packs. I just FIFA 13 hasn't been my year for packs. Hopefully, FIFA 14 will be, and we'll get some awesome packs, and I'll show you guys. You know, obviously, I'll be doing so many pack openings throughout FIFA 14. I will be keeping a weekly pack opening series on FIFA 14. I can guarantee you that for sure, because you know, it's a really easy video to make, and uh, obviously, you know, if, if we're gonna need a lot of coins to start off FIFA 13. So FIFA 14, sorry. So I'll be getting a lot of a uh, lot of packs in, and uh, obviously doing a lot of uh, pack openings. So anyway, we sell some players, we buy some players, we're going to buy uh, Gael Clichy for the left back, sell the goalkeeper of um, Pantilamon, and then we buy a centre mid, Yaya Tari, for 10,000 coins, I think. So that is pretty much the team. Look at that. We're now into the rare BPL squad, and this is how the team is looking at the moment. Robbie Van Persie sitting pretty uh, up in there with the with Kone and uh, Adel Tarapt. But this is how the team is looking at the moment, guys. I'm not too sure on how to upgrade it anymore. I, I can see, you know, possible upgrades for centre forward and striker. But the centre mids, the centre backs, and the goalkeeper, and the right back and the left back, I am completely happy with. So we're going to need to, we need a different centre forward, and we need a different striker, just because we want higher rated players, and we want more known players. So you guys leave them in the comments, uh, a centre forward and a striker, and I'll see if I can get around to getting them in the next episode. But apart from that, guys, if you did enjoy it, leave a like right and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. 300 likes would be awesome again. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, like I said just a minute ago. Um, but yeah, peace out, guys. See you later.